Hello and welcome to Destiny X, making a difference for this next generation, making a difference for all generations. I'm here with two of my very good friends. We're going to have some girl time today and you're in for a treat. We have my girlfriends, my sisters in Christ, Charlene back to Marion and Kim Crable. Welcome ladies. Thank you for having us. so great to be us. with both of you. I love being with you and with <laughs> Destiny all in one place. I know. I know. It's so great. And I especially love that it's just going to be girl talk. Yes. yes. Girl yes. talk. Yes. yes. And, um, you know, no scripts. We're just letting the Holy Spirit lead today. And whatever it is He wants to say, He's going to speak through us. So tell me, ladies, what's the Lord laid on your heart in this season? You know, I we need think to start you, there. Know, you had some great things to say in that show this morning, The Christian Man. And it, isn't it like, it was so important what we did this AM. Yes. You should say some more of what you, it, it was fabulous. Well, it it's was. It's the was, Father's heart. It's the Father's heart. Well, it was almost echoing you because mm -hmm. I believe, but I believe God is saying to me right now and all of us, build my body, mm -hmm. build the body, build mm -hmm. the body of Christ. And yeah. so I think that we are doing that by teaching. You know, all of us are really stepping out to teach. And mainly we're trying to teach and remind people who they are in Christ, yes. mm -hmm. bringing, bringing us all back to who we really are so that we can stand firm and so that we don't, you know, we're anointed and appointed for such a time yes. as this, right? Yes. And I love, Charlene, what you said um, that, you know, so, so many times women, no matter where they are, you know, this competition sets mm -hmm. in. That's not of God, first that of all. That is never of first God. Of all, and that was not. one of the things that you addressed with that cliche About, well, you did that I just love. We're not here to compete with each other. We're here to complete. Yes, yes, yes. yes. that's right. Mm -hmm. And so to build that's a body right. by teaching and uniting us mm -hmm. is yes. really how he's leading me right now. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yeah, and the same, same for here. It, we cannot say that we are true leaders, if we're not leading somebody, if we're not, I love what your pastor said about, you know, find somebody mm -hmm. to touch, find somebody to disciple, mentor. mentor. You know, if somebody wow. needs something, we are to be there yes. as women of God to say, hey, we, we'll help you with that. If you need something, step in and That's we right. will bless them and help them. But there's been so much of if somebody's going to excel above you, oh, all of a sudden it's competition. It's no longer, I'm gonna help you. Yeah. And that's the ungodly, yes. sad thing right now that's that's really shifting. I see it shifting. And there's a lot of it oh, out there, I see a lot it. of it. One of the things that you said, that the reason I, I tick, uh, got a little tickled because I heard a pastor say one time, if you're not leading anyone, you're just taking a walk. That's right. <laughs> that's true. Isn't that's true? good. It that's is. True. We, have to, we have to have, you know, we have to be, uh, leading people and yes. people are not going to follow unless they see passion in us yeah right unless they see realness, authenticity author authenticity. yes vulnerability mm -hmm. you know there's nothing worse to me than to have someone get up and say do it just the way i'm doing it you, right. know? you know i just you know now paul said follow me as i follow christ yeah but he meant if i fall down watch me pick myself back mm -hmm. up you know with that humble heart mm -hmm. not that prideful heart, right, that, yeah. that we yeah. have it, seen. It, and we're supposed to lift each other's arms. You know, the Word says that. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if we are true disciples of Christ, we are true leaders that He's called us to be, that's what we do. Like you said, there is no competition. There is no, well, she can, do, I don't have your gifts. You don't have my gifts. And that's exactly. what's so beautiful right. that we can bring all the gifts together to yes. bring kingdom here on and earth. And that's one thing the Holy Spirit said through me um, this AM. He said that, uh, we are, if, if we are trying to be someone else, which many are trying to do that because they haven't had copycat. the help along the way. Right. You know, they are copycat or they haven't had the help along the way or they're so desperate or whatever mm -hmm. it is because they haven't been taught. But if, you, if you're doing that, then you're being a counterfeit mm -hmm. of yourself and That's it's right. equaling no results. That's right. Because you can only move in who you have been called to be and do on this earth. And then there's power in that. Yes. There's power in your authenticity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing we know that God started heavy slamming the body of Christ mm -hmm. 
saying, I'm turning this thing. I am separating the uh, sheep you know, from the goats. Yes, and yes. it's the authentic mm -hmm. from the false. And he has been doing that. And it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Do we yeah. want to see people destroyed in it? We're hoping that that when God is doing this and coming and saying, because he is he's a God from the beginning that is shaking everything that can yes. be shaken. Right. So that cannot be shaken will remain. That's right. He wants us to remain. He wants who he is, yes. his character to remain so that he can reach the world. We want the world to look again, Kim, and want what we want. Yes. You yeah. know, we've been mockery to some. We've, yes. we've, they've laughed at the church right. because of the yeah. more divorce, the more this, the yeah. more that. Well, I you mean, know. you know, yes. we have to be the light in the dark mm -hmm. place. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Are we going to have perfect lives? No, we're not. No. I mean, I'm going through things right now. I know you've prayed for me. I know you've prayed for me. We pray for each other. Yes. It's all in how we handle it. People are watching us. They're looking yes. to see, are we going to get, you know, broke down and cry and be fearful? No, we're going to trust in the, the one. Mm -hmm. We're going to trust in the King, our Jesus. That's who we're going to trust in. And what right. we speak in those seasons you know, it, it's going to either, it, it will shift our situation yeah, it or will. it will keep us in a pit, you know, because what we say is like a uh, rock rippling on the water. Mm -hmm. And as it ripples forth and we yeah. speak and roar what heaven roars, it will, heaven will come, kiss earth, it will shift and change atmospheres and yes. bring his glory and it will change that whole situation. Yeah. But if we're speaking death, and we continue to just like, oh, no, no, because yeah. God will change anything. Nothing's impossible That's with right. him for those who believe. Right. And make it practical. Yes. You know, when, when we're going through things, when we, are, we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, then we show the world that just because we're believers, we're not uh, negated from yeah. hard times. The Bible says in this world you will have trials and tribulations. Yes. I think that our greatest testimony comes from the fact that we share. We're struggling. We have something going on. We have hurt. Mm -hmm. We have pains. We're real people. We're, we're, we're people in ministry. Yes. We lead ministries, but we're real people. We, yes. we cry. We, we hurt. We have these situations. But I think that the more authentic we are, and not that we have to share the details with yes. everybody, right. but right. when people understand that life isn't, when we don't portray that, right. um, I think that people really see Jesus in us. Mm -hmm. when, when, when we are able to hold on to our hope, and still be joyful, mm -hmm. not not always happy and dancing, but have that joy, mm -hmm. which is peace, yeah. that God is going to work things out. Mm -hmm. then when we are able to maintain that during troubled times and in a troubled world, yes. I think that that's where Jesus really shines the most. And mm -hmm. I think that's what makes people, mm -hmm. I think that's what makes them, uh, that's our salt. That's what yeah. makes them thirsty for right. what we have. They're and like, she actually trusts this Jesus that she actually trusts yes. this God that people talk about yes. and they see us walking it out because you know we do have to go through to get to yes and we yes. all have all to go through to get to we do and we're all going through yes. something that no, no one is exempt from going through exactly anything. exactly, exactly. So I like what you said about yeah just and we, somehow in the church do you not think that somehow in the church we 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 have taught that if you're right with God and you're doing everything right, then everything's going to be gonna right. Be yeah. And that is so, so not wrong. true. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why so and many that's women... that's extra condemnation comes in. Exactly. They're, they're condemned because they're like, what's wrong yeah. with me? Well, I was and there for yes. so long. I felt yes. that way, Charlotte. And it was yeah. like, mm -hmm. if I kept thinking, if, if I had enough scripture in me, maybe if I could pray these beautiful yes, prayers, these beautiful, yes. if yeah. I could just memorize one more scripture. You know, whatever it was, I just would look around at, at people yes. and think, why can't I have what they have? But what I realized was I wasn't submitting to have what they had. I wasn't being my authentic self. Yes, you're So I didn't self. have that power, right? Uh, right. So for our listeners tonight, it's about just, you know, being you. Yes. You are the masterpiece right. that God made. Because comparison will take you and always take oh. yourself and point at yourself. Yes. It will beat you up. It yeah. will condemn you. And it's like what I said earlier about condemnation, I mean, uh, condemning. When they come into a city to yeah. condemn a building, it's because it's unfit for use. And the devil's job is to make you feel unfit for use right. for the kingdom. And we as leaders, now so we all sad. have, uh, you know, global talk shows and we've been in ministry for a long time. But you know what? I always say... It, to people, they think we do not, you, everything that you touched on, that we do not go through things. 
But what we do, we learn to know who to share it. I always tell other leaders that mm -hmm. I'm ministering to, fall apart with another leader. Yes. Yeah. Don't fall apart you have to. with somebody who cannot mm -hmm. handle it, cannot right. take it. Mm -hmm. um, it's right. not that we don't go through anything, it's we know we must share it with the, the proper channel mm -hmm. in so that we right. can get through it correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, because and confidentially. Leaders, and confidentially. You know, as far as, yes. you know, you get through it and then you share mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. of times, yeah. but yeah, yeah absolutely. And I think everyone needs to have that, don't you? Yes. No matter mm -hmm. what you're doing, you have to have what I call your rescue crew. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. that group uh, that your you... Tribe. Yeah, your yes, tribe. Yes, that's what you yes. call it. Yes. Yes. Our tribe, yes. yes. That you can trust and that you can go to and yes. say, hey, this is, you know, what's happening. Oh, yeah. And, and the whole world doesn't have to know that. And But it does make us look a little more perfect <laughs> when we're sitting up here because they don't get to hear right. it all. Right. But it's not because we don't want to be authentic. It's because you have to share your heart and know who can take it and right. not put it on a chopping block mm -hmm. and do something with it that will bring harm later. That's right. That will bring false accusations against you uh, yeah. with your uh, reputation, which, you know, I, I've had it all said about me, which were flat lies, but you know, you just... <laughs> I think we all do in ministry. Yes. I think people <laughs> yes. like to just... That's yeah. just, I don't yeah. know, it makes them I mean, feel it's, better, if maybe. If it's not my makeup, it's something I yeah. talk too loud. It's something. <laughs> you know, it's always something, but, uh, you know, you just move on. You do what God calls you That's to right. do. That's right. That's right. And He is faithful and just. That's right. The one who has called us. And he will do it, the word says in Thessalonians. That's and that's, right. I stand on that. That's my little anger a there, lot there of you times. Go. And, yeah. you know, we all, and I just, the, the, the uh, people who are watching us, these are the kind of moments that they need. Mm -hmm. We are raw. We're real. real. It, <laughs> yep. This is not, Ron you know, we real. don't get up here, get dressed up, put clothes on just to do TV. Right. It's to encourage people, to help them, to bring them to the platform to that they need to be. To transform lives. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Because to I will tell you, lives. if I were in my comfort zone, I'd be behind the camera. I love directing and producing yeah. and putting yeah. things together. <laughs> I love putting people out there and making them look good. Yeah. That's that's just where I love. Absolutely. But God just has such a sense of humor. He goes, oh, children. <laughs> the other side but and I think it's because he knows that I will share mm -hmm. that I'm flawed that I, that I will share that I go through things that I will share that I suffered with you know that yeah. the past and things and yeah. um, and and I find no this it's so funny that once God frees you mm -hmm. from hurts and things mm -hmm. heals you you know, the things that used to cause shame, guilt, and regret no longer yes, have control. Yeah. That's right. They no longer. And that's so right. for people who are suffering with that, they think that that's a life uh, sentence. Yeah. It's not as soon yeah. as you surrender and let God heal. As a matter of fact, is it this not us. true? Yes, that what, what, what used to bring me shame, mm -hmm. God now allows me to use in service. Yes. Those things that, um, that yeah, used to bring good. me regret, mm -hmm. God has mm -hmm. redeemed. Very Amen. Good. And all those things yeah. that, that brought so much guilt to me, God has, has turned it you know, for my good. He's transformed it. And now my story can can bring him glory. glory. Yes. Your story to glory. Yes. I love it. Yes. Scars yes. to yes. scars to stars. Yes. And that's <laughs> I love what it. isn't that what we want yeah. every woman to know? Yes. And all of our past, you know, we say it does not define our future, but it, it defines some things because the, the bad things actually built character in me. Absolutely. It made me mm -hmm. strong. Mm -hmm. All of the things that I went through back then. Yes. yes. You, you had know, to go through to now get the too. bad doesn't <laughs> yes. define me, but all of our purpose if, yeah. if the thing is don't let all of your trials and your tribulations go without purpose. Right. Don't there just let all secret. of the things that have happened in your life yeah. go without purpose. Let That's there be right. purpose in it because God uses it. That's right. Pain I mean, to gain. I say all the Pain time. Pain to the, from the pit right. to the palace. And if you don't share it, mm -hmm. for all of everyone who's listening, if you don't yeah. share what God has gotten you through, then you're not giving him the glory for that's what right. he's done for you. Right, because right? that's our history. Now right. it's our testimony. Right. We, we must share. That's right, and it, and it shows the power of God mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at work in our lives it does. and what he can do. And isn't that really what it's all about, that mm -hmm. we want yes. to glorify him? Because if he did it for you, he can do it for you, you, and you, and you. And he longs to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. He longs to. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. 
And that word rest in the Greek means reversal. And burden yeah. means a task in waiting. There's nothing that we've been through that God isn't, he's ready to use. That's so good because oh. shame keeps a lot of people from their purpose yes. and from their call. I remember when I was first born again and um, the, uh, I was supposed to give my testimony and of course I didn't want to give all that, you know. But you know, because especially then, you really don't have the wisdom to share what you're supposed to share, not share, you know, but right, God, right. you know, the Holy Spirit did it. He was great. And, you know, but the one thing he says, I want you to share about shame because there's going to be a lot of people set free. Yeah. So shame literally means to fail to satisfy the hopes of. Yes. And mm -hmm. so yes. when my dad would do all the things that he did and because I come from a very abusive home, I grew up in a drug house and blah, blah, blah in Detroit, not going into all that. But um, I, I had great shame because yeah. I every time I, I would try so hard because I, I would fail my dad and have, you know, failed mm -hmm. to satisfy the hopes of because, but you can't satisfy a spirit, somebody who is so yeah. hateful and angry and don't know, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, he was, it, it was really bad. And, and you so, never will, man will always let you down yes, every time. Yes, always, but God will not. But God will not. So every time I would fail to satisfy the hopes of, mm -hmm. and great shame would come, mm -hmm. but it wasn't mine. You know, the Holy Spirit, you know, I got released that night. Yes. I mean, right away, I was born again so yes. soon. And that was a big deal to release that baggage, to go forward, to do what he called me to do. And what I want to say to you, listen, I sit here today with a world-renowned uh, TV talk show, um, and I hosted for a major uh, network for 10 and a half years before I had my own and then built my own network, TV network. A girl that went to eighth grade on the streets in Detroit, grew up in a drug house, Listen, you can sit where I am. Nothing is impossible. Wow. Believe, if you believe in yourself, now of course it's God that's gonna do it all, but I always tell people, if you believe in you, others will believe that's in right. you. If you walk into a room and just say, oh, you know, like all sorry, and you know, who, who wants to be, gravitate towards that? Believe in who you are. Be strong and others will believe. Mm -hmm. They right. will. And if you, need, if you need scripture on that, go to Ephesians and go to the, the first, yeah. second, third chapter mm -hmm. and just circle everything that God says, you know, yes. who we says are, who, yes. who That's we good. are yes. as, as we believe. It, it steps with, starts with you. I have a question. How old were you all? How, how, how old? Yeah, here comes the interview oh right now. <laughs> don't age me. I don't want, I don't want how, to tell how my age. Old, how old were you when you accepted Christ? I was 12. How old were you all? I was 32. Wow. I got born Jeez. again. I got born again. I, I grew up Catholic, but I really got born again and really started having a relationship with the Holy Spirit at 32. 32. Mm -hmm. That's phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. And I was about 30. 30. Also. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm trying that? to think because I've been, <laughs> how long I've been serving the Lord and all that to yeah. get the numbers right. Yeah. But I'd say that. Mm -hmm. Right. And you have to keep moving forward. I'm glad you touched on that because mm -hmm. no matter what comes your way, yeah. you've got to keep moving forward. Things are going to come up. Yes. People are going to say things. Yes. People are going to try to pull you down. Yes. But you've got to mm -hmm. keep moving forward. Yes. And even as evil as my dad was, you know, he, Marilyn Hickey's ministry yeah. went to his deathbed and he received the Lord. Oh. So he Praise was God. one of those last minute, which is rare. Yes. He Praise was one God. of those last minute salvations. Yes. And boy, what a merciful God we serve to let him in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, and I'm glad, you know, yes, I mean, I'm absolutely, I, you know, right. all forgiven here. But, right, mm -hmm. right. Well, you know, it, you, you look at people and, and I don't know a lot about your, your past, but we're going to do, we're, we're going to do more. <laughs> uh, but it sounds like a, a story there that really help a lot of people. And I think uh -huh. we all do. I know, mm -hmm. you know, oh, yeah. with, Everybody with has my a story heart and pain. Yeah, yeah, that, and that's the thing. We, we must continue to tell our stories because that's really what captures the heart of people mm -hmm. is yes. when we, we, you lean in to the stories. And, and people yes. don't realize the hell, I'm going to say it, yes. the hell that we went through to be where we are today. Yes. Yes. I wouldn't have this ministry mm -hmm. had I oh, not gone exactly. through what I had to go through. Well, with. You have to stay. That's preparation though, isn't yeah. it? Preparation. preparation. It is. It's preparation. That's what it's called. Preparation yeah. it sounds beautiful, yeah. but it's hard. <laughs> it's, oh. Sounds like a great word. Oh, you just, <laughs> how many times have you all just walked around your house crying, you know, and uh -huh. you felt so alone? And yeah. I mean, I can remember times, but, but I, you know, we, like I said, to start with, we, we have feelings. We mm -hmm. hurt too. Yes. And um, I mean, there's so many times when we just moved back from Baltimore. Uh, now we're in the Atlanta area, but there were so many times 
were in, in the growing pains of ministry, you would just feel so alone. And of course, the enemy was trying to stop you. Mm -hmm. Of course, he, he wasn't happy with what you're doing. And of course, he's throwing everything at you. Mm -hmm. But you know, that, that warrior in us, mm -hmm. you know, that stand firm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can't give up. Mm -hmm. um, pain is our gain. Yes. All yes. the pain that I went through in my life has done nothing but caught me caused me to gain mm -hmm. and caused me to have another yes. step. You know, it's just stepping a stepping stone. stone. Yes. Who, who was it uh, uh, that said, um, oh, I, 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 I just lost it. You said, <laughs> you said earlier, that's great when you just say, oh, I just, I can't remember what I was oh, going to say. And I just lost what I was well, going to say. Well, so. that's okay because what you just said is, you know, is what I hope each of the listeners here today, uh, here to here today is because life is not easy. Mm -hmm. And especially right yes. now, there's so many fears. There's so mm -hmm. many, I mean, I'm a Christian counselor. I know the statistics of, you know, how many people are suicidal right yes. now, how many are going back to their addictions yes. right yes. now. Yes. Life is really, really hard. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so I just encourage That's you so to hear yeah. from these strong leaders that it is hard. You know, strong it's leader. not easy, but God doesn't call us to easy. easy. He calls us to be Amen. effective, right? Yes. So Amen. we just impact, must impart, yes. effectiveness. Yes. Teach, yes. guide, love, yes. ambassadors of Christ. And I'm yeah. so grateful to be sitting here. That's why I, c I cannot wait for an opportunity. I love this that you invited us on to share the gospel. I've had, yeah. I have people. I mean, I get to sit here. And, and I just love you. Can I just tell you? you too, this honey. is the first time we've ever met in person. In person, and you yes. know, you, you, you hear people's hearts <laughs> over internet and everything. But, you know, when you get together and you see that, the people that you think are the real deal, deal when you find out that they really are the real mm -hmm. deal. I love it. Isn't it just so, so hard? Yes. yes. Because there are some that aren't. I've yes. been there, That's done true. But you know, every day yes. I thank the Lord because in my life, I had many opportunities to not be here today. Mm -hmm. I mean, I shot up drugs and stuff, but I, the reason why I'm going here is because I've had friends that really wanted to sit here. Mm -hmm. And one of my friends, when I left Detroit, to get my new life and leave everything behind. I had to leave everything, every family. I know what loneliness is. And uh, it was like putting me in the middle of a desert with one cactus mm -hmm. after being oh. in the life I was in. Yeah. And my, my one friend, and this is just one I can tell you so many stories. One of my best, best friends, she kept writing and saying, Charlie, I'm gonna do what you did. I'm gonna get out of here, I'm gonna quit drugs, I'm gonna get away. Mm -hmm. She ended up blowing your brains out in front mm. of her eight-year-old because she was so high one mm. day. Oh. And my other, um, my, my other best friend, she, um, well, her sister Linda was my friend. You know, they were all my friends, but I was best friends mm -hmm. with Vicki. Well, her pimp threw out the window and she hung on so hard for so long, everything was wore down. She oh, fell to her gosh. death. So Vicki tells me, I'm going and I'm gonna get him. And I said, Vicki, don't, he'll kill you too. And they don't kill about prostitutes. Mm -hmm. Nobody will even bother with you. Mm -hmm. He killed her too. So wow. I know what I'm talking about. And I'm so grateful to be sitting here today. Let me tell you. Me too. I me know. Too. I know what this me life too. is over here. And people say Jesus isn't fun. Listen, I danced on tables in the world. I dance for Jesus now. <laughs> and I will tell you what. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun, honey. It, it, you know, it's serving the Lord. Lord. There's nothing people, like it. I it's a fun people, life, isn't, isn't it? Like it? Remember when you used to th think being a Christian and being a believer would be boring? Oh, my gosh. That's when my life just really. Because I thought that too one yeah. time. I'm People just, think, they say fuddy daddies. Oh, those Christians are fuddy daddies. I'm no, awesome no, fuddy we're not fuddy daddies. <laughs> oh, that's that's a, fun. Have you heard that? I oh, have. Christians are fuddy daddies. I have. I have. <laughs> fuddy daddies. It's, it's, it's the most Or we're exciting. lame. I've heard it all. No, we're not lame. You're lame. If you're not a Christian, come on. <laughs> come Believers, come followers. Come yes, oh, followers. Join us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. There's room for all, right? There's room for all. That's right. We invite you to come in. We yes. invite you to... Be a part of this sisterhood. We invite yes. you to be a part mm -hmm. of the kingdom of God because the kingdom, you know, there, there's nothing like it. Like, like my friends over here said, it's, I wouldn't give it up for anything. I mean, if, if I had to go back to go through what I went through, I'd do it all over again just to yeah. be where I'm at today. Right. Too. Oh, yes. I would. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And, and that's what I hope that the, the, our audience hears is that it's never too late. Never too late. You're right never on too time. Old. Never, never too, too old. old. Never, never too, too bad. Yep, never too this bad. This is the moment. God never. says this is the moment. Look, he um, took me. Choose took now. He took all of us, and we were a mess. Choose yeah. now. He came while we were yet sinners. Don't wait to be cleaned up because that's the biggest lie of the enemy. Well, I'm not good. You know, he doesn't want me because look at me. I'm a mess. And he wants you in your mess. He came while we were yet sinners in a mess. 
You right. can't be perfect, no, you know. Right. I don't care what you just did. He wants you. Yes, yes, yes. Well, as we're coming to, um, I wish I had all day with you oh, ladies. We'll, we'll have do to it do it this again. again. Yeah. We'll do we will it. have to do this again yes. for sure. We'll yes. And I love being with believers, you know, just letting the Holy Spirit lead. Kim, as we're coming to a close, would you lead our viewers to Christ today? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's such a pleasure. You know, the thing that I would like for you to remember is that, you know, God does extend an invitation to you. And he says, come to me. You know, we, we go to everything else and we run to, to the stores and everything else. And Jesus is standing there with open arms saying, come to me. I, but while you were yet sinners, I died for you. I've given my all. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for you, if you were the only one. So right now, wherever you are, you know, I hope that you have felt the joy. I hope that you have seen the passion. I hope that you feel thirsty for, for all that you can have. You know, God sees you as you are right now, but he sees all your potential. And he wants to bring that out. So tonight or today, whenever you hear this, all you simply must do is just call on the name of Jesus. Yeah. You whisper his name and immediately, and even before, he is right there, and he is ready to take your hand, and he is ready to lead you into a brand new life. Just call upon his name. Say, I know I need you in my life. Please come in. Reside in me. Be a part of who I am, Lord. Let me be a part of you and begin this wonderful relationship. I promise you that it may not be easy, but oh, is it worth it. And you will have a peace at night like you cannot imagine. And you will begin a journey, the Bible says, that far outweighs anything that you could ever imagine or even dare to ask. Amen. Thank you so much for that prayer. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in with us today on Destiny X, making a difference for all generations where we are raw, real, and redeemed. Until next time, thank you and God bless.